There was a very large oak tree that crashed into power lines and damaged cars and blocked a roadway late last night in Lafayette. Here's what the damage is that was left behind there. It's quite the mess. They're still dealing with it now. And now Crown Force Philippe Chagall is reporting PG&E crews were trimming some of that tree's limbs hours before it fell down. A Lafayette homeowner says a PG&E crew stopped by her home on Spring Hill Road Monday afternoon to remove limbs from a large oak tree in the side yard. The homeowner says the limbs had grown too close to power lines and the utility was attempting to mitigate a hazard. But hours after the crew left, the whole tree came down. The homeowner says there were no signs that the tree might be unhealthy or in danger of snapping, especially when the weather was dry and calm. It was a still night. We were still up at 10 after 10, and uh, it was quiet. And then all the lights went out. Everything went out. And, and uh, when the electricity goes out on this street, it is very dark. The tree fell on two cars, power lines and a fence, but fortunately missed homes and people. Luckily, it was during a really quiet time where, you know, there's so many people who walk on this sidewalk and there's a bus stop right there in the morning. So luckily, nobody was hurt. Xfinity spent hours in the morning restoring services to its customers. The homeowner says they are insured, but hopes to work with PG&E to determine and why the tree fell and have all of the damage caused repaired. We had a, a eucalyptus on our property well, about 20 years ago that, that fell on a hot July night and it was like a plane crashed in the yard. It was really something and fortunately nobody was hurt but you know these, these things can happen. In a statement to Cron 4, PG&E says quote, the safety of our customers and the communities we serve is our most important responsibility. PG&E's vegetation management contractor was in the area early on Monday, March 11th to conduct minor pruning. We are currently investigating the cause of the tree failure. In Lafayette, Philippe Jagal, Cron 4 News.